Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this Azure DevOps tutorial series, today let's discuss about what are pull requests in Azure repos. Okay, so if you look at our Azure repos section, there are a lot of sec uh, sections here like files, commits, pushes, branch tags. We have discussed about key sections already and we might have also had a glance about what pull requests are in our previous videos. But here in this particular video, we'll dig in deeper, let's try to understand what are pull requests? Why do you need pull request? Okay, so let's try to dig in deeper and understand why do we actually need this, right? So if I go into my pull request section, okay, so what are pull requests here? Pull requests are a feature that makes it easier for a developers to collaborate using Git, okay? So they provide a very user-friendly web interface for discussing proposed changes before integrating them into your actual project. Or else in a simplest form, uh, no, pull requests are a mechanism for a developer to notify each and every team members that they have completed a feature. For example, say I am a developer and I am working on a feature. So once the development for the feature is completed, I want to let my colleagues or my lead know that I have completed a feature. So I can use pull request as a mechanism to notify them. Okay. So once the feature branch is ready, the developer will file a pull request via their account. This will, uh, this lets everybody involved know that they need to review the code and merge it into the main branch. Okay. So the main reason why we need a pull request is to, you know, um, you know, you can actively involve each and every developers in your team. And once you complete a feature, you can let your lead or your de uh, co-developers know that, Hey, I have completed this feature. You can review this particular code and let me know for any comments okay that is why you generally use pull request uh, in azure repos so this is a home screen of your pull request screen so you can see these are very user friendly options where this will show the pull request that i have created and this will show the active pull request what are completed what are abandoned uh, abandoned means deleted okay so there are look, uh, four main sections here we'll just try to discuss one by one and we have an option to create a new pull request here too okay so you know this is one of the easiest way to create but not a recommended way okay so you know you will not be very clear about you know what and all the code changes you are making so generally it follows a process right so you will uh, make a code change in your favorite ide and then uh, you know maybe uh, if you're using visual studio or visual studio code you will try to commit your code through visual studio or else if you you will commit through git bash uh, whatever um git bash or git ui whatever uh, version control to your tool you are using right so so what my ultimate aim is to make you understand pull request from the scratch like why do we create a pull request as a result of a feature development okay so let's try to uh, look at a different way of how we can create a pull request we'll just ignore this for now so let's open a git bash sorry Then git bash. Before that, first let me create a project folder in the desktop. So let me create a new folder, new folder. Let me call it as git um, pr demo. Okay, so this is the location where I will clone my project. So let me go into this particular folder. Right. So here I will clone my project. Git clone. Let me go to my repo home screen. So let me clone this. So I have I'm using this project online DevOps demo repo for the demo purposes. You can see now I have like two files here. Like I've created two, two uh, program files inside this repo. So let me just try to clone this. now the cloning is done you can see i am acting currently in main branch all right so now if if i have to move to a new branch i will use git checkout hyphen b for creating a new branch and i will provide the branch name as let me call it as pr demo okay so this is the branch i have created for uh, this demo okay so if i now open this particular 
PR demo folder okay so so these are the two program files I have right so for some reason I want to change this okay open with SHD code okay let me see for some reason I want to change this okay I want to change this feature let me wait okay mm, so let me chip add a new line of code let's me for now i will just add a very simple change like i will add a comment compare to list okay my ultimate aim is to raise a pr so not to focus on the code changes so for now i'm just adding a new line here okay new comment let me go to my git bash and it should get status you can see i have now i have made a small change here like i have modif modified the compare to list python file by uh, adding a comment comment okay by adding a comment here okay for now i will close this okay now you can see i have uh, made a change once i issued git status it is highlighting in red and git add dot will add the git files and git commit this and all i have covered in my previous video so i'm just going a little faster they are demo uh, are demo changes okay so here it is and now i have made committed this change finally i'm just trying to push this into my origin let push origin into my remote branch right so now once i push this yeah now it is pushed to the remote pr branch so now if i refresh the screen <coughs> You can see the change is now notified here all right so you can see i have updated pr demo six minutes ago so you can create a pr from here okay you can create a pr from here you can see in this new pull request section uh, like you have quite a lot of details like first thing to note here is so you need to verify from which branch to which branch you are trying to push the code so pr demo is my developer branch this is the uh, branch i am intending to move the changes from so pr is the source branch into which folder like for now i am just trying to raise a pr for main branch okay so in lot of other project features like you have multiple hierarchical branch you know so you might have a pre-production branch and then finally you will push it to main branch okay so uh, it, the structure varies according to your project requirement for now I'm just trying to push it from my source branch into my main branch. All right. So you can see what is the change you have made. I've just added a, added a comment. So you can see the commit ID details here. Okay. You can see, see the basic details here and you can uh, provide a meaningful title and you can provide a detailed description also like what you can provide a description about what, uh, what are these changes and why do you, um, uh, why are you perform performing these changes? What this change is all about? You can provide a detailed um detailed information about your change and or else you can you know you can even attach um, screenshots to here in the description section and then you can add a reviewer okay for for now i'm just adding a reviewer you can add a link work item to link and uh, you can add a tags and finally there are two options like we can create a draft pull request or you can actually create a pull request first let me create a draft pull request so when you create it as a draft okay so what happens is in draft mode no reviews will be notified okay so uh, reviews will not be notified in draft mode the reason why people generally create draft notice okay for uh, you know this this change might uh, your uh, your code might be uh, your production code might be running in a pipeline right so if you want to make sure that your changes are running fine in your pipeline generally a build will run okay there will be a build for your project generally a build will run so you need to make sure your build is running successfully or not for now i we have not uh, gone up to the build level so we need to uh, make few changes going forward but for now we'll just focus on whatever we have okay so we uh, what we have now is like uh, we have we do not have like uh, the reason why we created draft pr is you uh, know we need to make sure all things are working in a streamlined pipeline okay so that is why you generally uh, you know you because you do not want to spam the email box of your reviewers and got a lot of 
code developers who are watches on this pr okay so generally uh, you will create a draft pr and make all necessary changes and then finally once you are happy with the changes that you have made once your build is successful you will publish this okay so by default it will be in publish mode when you actually create a pr okay for now we have created it as a draft pr right so now we have to publish it so once i have published it you can see now my pr is active right so now if you go to your pr section you can see under mine i have a pr that is created so under active also i might have one so this is the pr that we are trying to push changes to right so here it is and then we have uh, so once uh, the pr is active you can easily note that at the top section the pr is active okay and we are trying to push the code changes from pr demo branch into main branch and currently if there are no merge conflict okay because this is a very simple change we will see about merge conflict in our upcoming videos and you can discuss about all the project changes here if requested okay if required so you can provide um please uh, screenshot so if i am a reviewer i can provide any comment here like just i want uh, um and you can provide a code level comment also like you can go here okay so if you look at um please add list 3 okay so i can provide any meaningful comment okay so what a developer generally do is he or she will review this comment and then finally they will resolve that so now if i go here there will be a comment already here so so when i say uh, if you look at it here the comment is provided so you can see the comment is actually active okay so it is active so what developer generally does is he or she will go and rectify the changes okay they will say for example say i have made the code changes once the code change is done i'll say added list 3 so i can reply or reply and resolve this comment so once the so you can resolve the comment here also okay so this way you can easily discuss with all of your project team members okay so this is an easy way to collaborate okay so you can uh, provide information at the uh like uh, you know on the pr level or even at a code level you can review each and every line of the code and start commenting on that okay and finally uh, so if there are any uh, you know there will be mandatory reviewers depending on the nature of your project so once the pr is active so by default uh, a mandatory reviewers will be added maybe it may be an individual person or it may be a distributed list based upon the nature of your project okay for now i have added an optional review over here if you need to add a tag so you can add it you you, you can link the uh, related work item also here in this uh, work item section so once he, uh, the uh, project lead or your administrator has viewed the code changes if he or she is happy with the changes they can generally go and approve here there are lot of other options too you have approve you have approve with suggestions you we need to wait for author because you want to um, you know if if author is away or if you have any queries then sometimes you do not want to have your pr in an active stage so you generally put it in wait for author sections you you can reject the pr if you are not happy with the change and so there are a lot of other options too and so and finally you have the option to complete it as well you can complete it you can mark as a draft again because now currently it is active so if you want to move back to draft also you can move it and abandon means delete if you no longer need that pr you can delete that pr also so generally as uh, what developers when generally what admins will do is they will go here and approve it if they are happy with the change okay so now the changes is approved once my um, once the approval is done you can complete this pr and complete the merge so once the merge is done you can now see my pr changes is now completed and the code will now be merged into main branch okay, now if i go into my pull request you can see active now no pr is active because we have completed it it will be in our completed section so the pr demo changes is now completed okay so now if you go and look into your repo 
you can see so we made a change just uh, just a while ago right so, so this is the change that we have oh, why is it not reflecting here oh, main branch main branch income and like compare to list yeah here it is so you can see nine minute ago okay so this is the change that we have made right so this is the file that we have made change compare to list now the changes are displayed here okay so this is how you will actually create a PR and easily collaborate with your developers and push the changes back to from your source branch to the main branch okay so you know pull request is is more than just a notification okay so it's a de dedicated forum for discussing the proposed future if there are any problems with the changes teammates can post feedback in the pull request and even take tweak the future by pushing follow-up commits now all of this activity is tracked directly inside of the pull request okay compared to other collaboration models this formal solution for sharing commits makes much more streamlined workflow you know if you look at other version controls like svn and git can both automatically send email notifications with a simpler script however when it comes to discussing changes developers typically have to rely on email threads okay so when you have to rely on an email thread this becomes an hazard especially when follow up commits are involved okay so pull request puts all of this activity into a friendly web interface like this okay so the so when you file a pull request all you are doing is requesting that another developer pulls a branch from your repository into their repository okay this means that you need to provide four pieces of information of a file to pull request the source repository the source branch the destination repository and destination branch okay so um, so you can try on this own okay so i would uh, you can make any you can clone this project you can uh, make very basic changes and you can try to raise a PR and see how this pull request works. Okay, so I hope you guys understood why do we need pull request and how to create a pull request. You can try this on your own. And if you have any queries, please let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, please subscribe and follow my channel. Thank you.